Hello and good morning. I hope you're well. I'd like to welcome you to this Sunday's episode of the Shamir Shah Project. And as in the title, in this episode, I am going to talk about why I swapped my tent for a camper van. <laughs> My name is Shamir Shah. I'm a landscape photographer, passionate adventurer, mountain biker, and a devoted conservationist. A few years ago, my freedom and independence was nearly taken away from doing what I love by becoming a carer for my special needs son. Since then, I've doubled the stakes of my mission to make nature and the outdoors an inseparable and fundamental part of every family. This has now become my project. And it was a big decision, huge decision, because I loved camping, I loved tents, and the swap to a camper van was a crucial moment in my life, I think. I think it's a good idea to take you through a little bit about my background and my camping experience before I actually go into the reasons why I swapped my tent for a camper van. Some of you may know that I grew up in Nairobi, Kenya. That's where I was born. And Kenya is fantastic for adventures, as you know. East Africa is fantastic, Africa is fantastic. And one of my early experiences was during my childhood and when I was much younger and during my teenage years. And I experienced camping quite a lot then. Um, the camping trips that come to mind are going to uh, Naromoro, a place called Naromoro, which is on the foothills of Mount Kenya and uh, going there and camping with uh, family and friends. Um, I did some wild camping in uh, the uh, Abadea National Park, which is close to the Rift Valley in the um, Abadea mountain range. Uh, I recall camping there three times, which was a fantastic experience. And also, I recall going camping a few times with uh, schoolmates so there were school trips and the two places that were really memorable to me during the um, school years was Lake Nevasha and Lake Baringo where we camped out with lots of schoolmates and it was fantastic absolutely fantastic experience it was amazing and the reasons it was amazing because it opened up my eyes and opened up the door to the outdoors. It opened up the door to camping, to experiences which I still remember today and will always remember. They were experiences which were remarkable in ways that I can't explain in words because those are the reasons and those are the memories why I do the things I do today. I left Kenya for university when I was about 16 and a half. By then I'd camped out and experienced the outdoors a lot in Nairobi, Kenya. And when I left for university, I went to America. I went to the East Coast in uh, Virginia. And when at university there, again, I experienced lots of the outdoors and the beautiful surroundings around my university. And the one thing that we did regularly as uh, students, we camped out in our local woods, we built campfires, we took our musical instruments, um, hand drums, guitars, uh, acoustic of course, and we took them out in the woods and uh, made campfires, sat around it, 
camped out, made food and uh, played music. So that was a, a fantastic memory. The other solid memory that I have of wild camping in America was when a few friends and I um, hiked sections of the Appalachian Trail. So the Appalachian Mountains and the, the national parks around there. It was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the views were amazing and everything that that trail taught me I bring with me now in these years. It was fantastic to be around great friends. It was good to experience a different side of nature, a different perspective on a different continent. It was amazing. It was really good. And also, when I was in America, uh, there were three friends I recall who had the classic camper vans uh, as their regular vehicle. Um, they were camper vans. They were of different years. Uh, one was a 69, I believe. Uh, one was a 78 and there was a 1985 one and uh, we traveled all over the um, east coast of the US uh, in search of great places to explore and that gave me such a good feeling and a little bit of knowledge about camper vans and how far you can go, what you can do with them. Maybe that was a penny dropping moment for me and from that point I've always thought about camper vans. But mainly the outdoors and camping, whatever the medium of shelter used in the outdoors, I didn't mind. But camper vans sort of came to mind at that point in time. Um, the whole experience for me was amazing in the US. Virginia is beautiful, the east coast of the US is absolutely stunning. We explored a lot with friends. I loved it. I did a lot of solo hikes as well and I absolutely enjoyed it. I had no idea back then that I would actually swap my tent for a camper van that I have done recently. Fast forward to uh, where I am today and have been for the past many, many years. Uh, I'm in the UK and living in London. And one of the earliest experiences that I had with camping was with my family uh, in the UK. I had been alone a few times, but it really came to the forefront when I took the children and my wife out and it was my wife's first camping experience in the UK and we camped out uh, for four days was it four or five days in the New Forest National Park or the area of New Forest uh, which is the in the southern part of England and it was an absolutely stunning experience and a very memorable experience and the reason it was memorable was firstly because we went out on our first camping trip, secondly because my daughter learned how to ride a bicycle when we were out there and she was very young and she was absolutely over the moon when she was pedaling along all by herself. And thirdly because we got to experience nature at its best. We were in a woodland area, we were in a forest. Uh, we were in a countryside where it's, it's well known. I mean, a lot of people know about the New Forest. But also the wildlife there. We had wild horses, which you get in the New Forest, coming up to the campsite, um, digging through some of our food, uh, hanging out around our tent. And that was an amazing experience for me personally, but also for the family. And it was on that trip that we also went out and took a family cycle ride. So not only did my daughter learn how to ride uh, a bicycle, but she learned and we learned how we can actually travel together on bicycle and create these amazing adventures. And that was our first camping trip. And then the ball got rolling from then on, on loads more camping trips. We went camping all across the southeast of England, east of England, the southwest of England 
Uh, my family and I must have done, I don't know, around about 15 to 20 different camping trips in a tent. Uh, we did that over quite a few years. I believe we went through three different tents as well during that time and thoroughly enjoyed it, absolutely loved the experiences and hence why we still go out into nature camping today. But one of the main reasons that it became a bit difficult going camping in a tent was because of my son. My son uh, does have special needs. Uh, he's uh, pretty severe on uh, many different bases, but he absolutely loves the outdoors. So whilst he became quite challenging camping in a tent as he grew up, his behavior changed, his routines changed, he became a bit of a challenge as he grew up. We still wanted to maintain that lifestyle and keep camping in our yearly holiday rota and so it was something we were giving a lot of thought how can we do it better what can we do to change things how can we add similar memories and fantastic outdoor experiences to our portfolio of experiences with my son and my daughter and continue to have a good time and be organized and better prepared as my son grew up. How can we do that better? And that's when the penny dropped and the switch actually happened. Around about three years ago, I decided we were going to swap from tent camping to buying a camper van and going out camper vanning. So before buying the camper van three years ago, we had decided by now that that was a lifestyle we wanted to continue as a family. And we were looking at reasons of why and how we can justify buying a camper van. In order to continue this lifestyle of the outdoors, camping, camper vanning, getting out in nature, cycling, being amongst other like-minded people was um, that we needed to make some changes for my son to accommodate him really. And as previously mentioned, the, the, the experience I had in the US with friends having camper vans and us traveling miles and miles, camping out in the wild and actually having a ball of a time and really creating memories that I will never forget that was another penny dropping moment as I mentioned earlier and so more on a selfish reason I have always thought over the last 30 odd years that one day I will get a camper van. Uh, little did I know that the overpowering reason would be mainly because of my family and my son uh, to accommodate him. So the main reasons that I will go through now why I swapped my tent for a camper van is because of the following reasons and I have written them down because they are not your usual reasons um, in order to accommodate my son plenty of the reasons were for him so we had decided one reason was that if we were going to spend time in nature and include that outdoor lifestyle into our lives and be away from amenities uh, such as your high street and, and shops and things like that and be more in nature then we need it to be somewhat more predictable and the camper van offered us that opportunity of being a little bit more predictable in terms of how we're going to uh, get ourselves there what we're going to set up and how we're going to maneuver if we needed to move quickly for health reasons or whatever it is. Um, the second reason is we needed to be very organized for my son. Um, as mentioned, he has special needs and 
he has got certain routines and certain behavioral issues, if you want to call them issues, that we had to adhere to and be one step ahead of him. And by having a camper van, that encouraged us to get outdoors and still be uh, super flexible and organized for him. The third reason, which is probably one of the most important reasons, is that it gave us the freedom and allowed us spontaneity when we really needed to get outdoors and into nature. Because with a tent and the load you have to carry in a car and set up of the tent and your facilities took a lot of time and effort and sometimes quite stressful when we had to, for example, keep him in the car while we set up the tent, the freedom and spontaneity that a camper van gave us was um, absolutely overpowering. So it's a very important reason that the camper van allowed me to keep the camper packed and ready to go whenever we needed to just jump in the van and go. So there was no stress of have we got this, have we got that, have we got this for him, have we got that for him, have we got his certain medication maybe, have we got his wheelchair. Uh, have... It's packed and ready to go. So the camper van has all the essentials that we would need as a family or I would need solo and we could jump in at a couple of hours notice and actually go. So freedom and spontaneity along with having um, that van packed up and ready to go was really important to us. Um, the van gives us opportunity to actually go further. So we didn't just go a couple of hours outside of London or um, just try to be close to a high street or close to amenities or anything like that. It gave us the flexibility and the opportunity to go even further in our adventures and even further our lifestyle. The opportunity also arose of us being able to stay longer. So we didn't just have to stay three days or four days camping out here and then return back home to get supplies. We could get all the supplies that will last us even longer and have them in the van ready to go. So we could go from campsite to campsite to campsite. Um, and camp along the way, really. Um, I've got one more point here, which I think is also very, very important, is that exploration in nature and the wilderness can lead you and take you to very remote places. And by having a camper van, all packed and ready and set up in a way that we could easily access tools, um, supplies and anything we wanted, could take us to remote places and cater for my son and accommodate him in any situation. So that was really important to us. So these points make a lot of sense to us. We thought about every one of them. We made a list of all the things that we could benefit from buying a camper van as opposed to being in a tent. And the camper van outweighed the idea of camping in a tent. Saying that, look, if my son was fine and there was no uh, issues with him and he was very predictable and um, a, a neurotypical child, then we would probably still be in a tent. We would still be camping in tents and going wherever we wanted and exploring in, in tents. So I don't know if things would have changed then, but you know, life leads you and takes you in different directions and sometimes you have to accommodate and embrace life and make decisions based on that. So you can see, along with my background of growing up and experiencing the outdoors across three different continents and the decision to continue that lifestyle with my family, we made the switch from tent to a camper van. And it has paid tenfold back to us. 
between 12 and 15 times we have already been camper vanning in the last three years and we've done this through um, from spring uh, right through to autumn no problem but also I do still go tent camping I still have um, one-man tents and I utilize my one-man tent during my solo hikes um, through hikes bikepacking adventures and when I'm in very remote areas doing my photography work I will take my one-man uh, tent set up and stay overnight or a couple of nights and therefore I still get to do uh, a lot of camping wild camping uh, in a tent and so I hope you've enjoyed and found out a little bit about why I switched from a tent to a camper van uh, you've obviously found out a lot about my background and my family's background and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, if you've enjoyed this video in lockdown hence me doing it at home then please go ahead and hit that like button down below and if you're watching this video and you're new to my channel and not a subscriber please go ahead and subscribe up here somewhere and down here there is a button as well so either one leave me a comment and uh, let me know how about yourself is tent camping all you gonna do are you ever gonna switch to a camper van do you want to switch to a camper van let me know and I and the family will see you out and about Thank you.